I didn't know anything about MND. I just knew that there was the big freeze and the beanies and that it sounded like a horrible disease. And then when it was a part of our lives, hearing no cure, no treatment means that there's nothing we can do about it. You just have to hold someone's hand and, and wait for them to get worse. And it's terrifying. To walk out of a doctor and been told you've got MND but no treatment or cure um, is just gutting. You know, there's terrible diseases around but there's, there's some hope. You know, there's always a, a, a drug. There, there, there's some hope of, of, of survival. But, but you, you get this diagnosis and you, you're literally told we're sorry, you know, we'll provide you care and we'll provide support for your family, but that's, it's, it's just, it's terrible, yeah. So since being diagnosed, um, I haven't worked. Uh, I've been spending my time with my family, uh, playing with all of us. The day he was diagnosed, we were thinking which holidays we'd go on, which things we wanted him to be able to do with Oliver while he can. So his attitude this whole time has just been, these are the things I can do today. He's propagating succulents or riding 50Ks, but he's just busy all day until bedtime. You know, you, you just pray that every cent they're giving will eventually find that something. When people donate to fight MND, it just gives us a bit of hope that maybe, maybe in a few years, Woz will still be here and maybe there's a drug he can take that will make him be able to enjoy some more time with Ollie and me. To people who support by MND, I'd say a huge thank you. This is a really tough journey and disease, and we need to find a cure. So if you're supporting by MND, you're supporting me and everyone else. So, thank you.